Well, hello, everybody. Welcome uh, today. Uh, my name is Lorraine uh, Friedel, and I am an international SAM play therapist and teacher uh, with the SAM play therapists of America and the International Society of SAM play. And uh, today I just wanted to have a conversation with Dr. Jessica Stone. And she is a clinical psychologist, and she is a developer of Virtual Santray, which is a program that she'll tell us about today. And I've gotten so many calls and emails asking about Virtual Santray now that people are in the telehealth uh, forced to be home uh, during this COVID crisis and uh, wanting to find ways to reach their clients. So thank you for agreeing to interview, be interviewed today. Welcome. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. I appreciate being here. Yeah, hope, so I, hope I can answer people's questions, you know, and, and move forward on it. Yes. Thank you. So tell me just first, we love stories in the Sam Play world. So tell me the story about uh, what brought you to uh, develop uh, the um, virtual Santray uh, program. Sure. So in 2011, the tsunami hit in Japan, and a very good friend of mine and colleague had put out a request on Facebook for materials because they were trying to work with all the families and, and clients there and everybody affected as much as they could. So I got a bunch of things together and sent them out and felt really good about that. But then also thought, and I said to my husband, how are they going to do sand tray? They don't have the images. They don't have the trays. They don't have the sand. How are they going to do it? And it really was bothering me because I have been a practitioner for many years and I have my traditional sand tray set up and how important it is. And so I just thought we have to have something truly portable. And mm -hmm. interestingly, I just gotten an, an iPad for Mother's Day and uh, the, the how, whatever month before this tsunami had hit. And I said, it could be on an iPad. How do we do that? And my husband was really busy at the time. He taught himself how to program as a teenager. I, my brain doesn't work that way. I don't know how that happens, but his does, thankfully. And I said, could you help with it? And he said, I've got all these other things going on. And I said, okay. So I did the, the poor man's patent, they call it, you know, and you write it down and mail it to yourself. <laughs> and then he said to me one day, oh, I'm going to work on that project for you. And I said, which project? Because, you know, he's my husband and we have a honey-do list, right? So I didn't know what he was talking about. And, and ultimately he said, oh, no, I want to work on that sand tray project. So we have been working on it since then. And it's wow. been a passion project and really something that I, I want to instill as many of the traditional tenets of sand tray, sand play therapy in the program so that it can be a viable and important clinical tool. Yes, and that's something that as I was exploring what to do myself uh, with my clients that really just touched me is that, you know, the way that you've designed this is really very much like a live and uh, interactive sand play uh, session where, you know, they interact with the sand or the virtual sand and toys, but the therapist gets to witness the making and uh, it's not like they're playing with this outside of therapy, like other apps may, you know, kids might be playing with. And, and so it was really, uh, it seemed very similar to what we would do in a, in a live session, uh, except on an iPad. So tell us about how that works. So in the, in now I want to call it a traditional session because now mm -hmm. we're doing all this telehealth work. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm not quite sure. I haven't, haven't cemented all the ways I conceptualize everything in my head just yet with what we're doing, but in the- Agreed, in the I, I'm like in person or live. Well, it is live, it is face-to-face. -face. Right. So uh, we'll say that uh, yes. an office-based, uh, oh, yeah, an office-based sampling session, okay. <laughs> so in an office-based session, I, I would, if, if a client, I'm primarily non-directive, I'm a registered mm -hmm. play therapist and I'm primarily non-directive in terms of the items are there in my office and they can choose what they're going to do that day. And so I have my traditional setup of the sand tray and all my items. And then I also have my iPad sitting, sitting against a bookshelf. And in my initial session, I show them around the room what I have, what they can use, all that stuff. So they know that it's there. And mm -hmm. so if a client chooses to use the virtual sand tray, then I sit as close to them as their 
personal bubble allows mm -hmm. and watch as they create it. And, and I enjoy having a larger iPad. So I personally use the iPad Pro, which is the biggest one they make. And the reason for that is because it's a larger surface area. And if the client has it in their lap, which is commonly how they want to create it, mm -hmm. then I can still witness and, and watch what they're doing and how they're doing it, how they're choosing, what they're putting in, what they're changing, all of those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. So that would be how it would be traditionally used in an in-person, in-office session. <laughs> okay. Uh, and, <laughs> And commonly, I have clients who will want to do a traditional tray and a virtual tray in the same session. Mm -hmm. And I find it really interesting to see what, what themes are similar and different and what they change and what they keep the same. And it's mm -hmm. what they do with each of the mediums is, is really interesting to me. Yeah, and I imagine that if it's on an iPad, it's also portable to take to a hospital where uh, sometimes uh, sanitation issues are, you know, at play uh, and, you know, providing maybe in the home, you know, the way we use portable sand, sand play, we could also okay. use this iPad. Um, so, right. yeah, so you sit with them. Now, imagine now um, you have this iPad and you're on this side of the telehealth uh, screen. Uh, what kind of thoughts do you have now that um, we're in this uh, state of emergency and uh, people are looking for ways to do this through the screen? Right. So we have two options. One is current and one is coming. And a lot of people are using the screen share uh, mm -hmm. feature on their telehealth platform. So for instance, right now we're in Zoom and in a little bit uh, we will be screen sharing here so people can see how we're yes, doing Yes, stay that. with us. We're going to do and a demo. <laughs> that is, yes. And, and what's coming is that we are actively developing as quickly as possible. We definitely want to put out a great product. We don't want to just rush something. But at the same mm -hmm. time, we know everybody is wanting it as soon as possible, mm -hmm. is to have a feature where the client in session is granted permission by the therapist. So the therapist has the app, grants permission for the client to use it within session in whatever location the client is in. The client creates the tray. The therapist can watch the creation on their own iPad. So there's no screen sharing that's necessary. And then when the client finishes that tray, it gets saved to the therapist's iPad. Mm. So everything is based and housed in the therapist's iPad, but you're granting permission during session only to use the app so the client can create something on their end. Wonderful. Yes, and so this idea of opening the program to the client on the other end, you're able to watch what they're making play by play, just like you would if they were in your office. Uh, and then you can save it in a confidential way to, uh, uh, you can save the images to these files that are designated for those clients. Um, and the other thing is that they're not, um, they're not working on them outside of your session. It becomes something that's a ritual between you and your client, correct? Exactly. That is exactly um. correct. Mm -hmm. And so I know some of my colleagues and myself as well, I'm a neuropsychologist and, and very body based and, and mm -hmm. uh, wondering about, of course, there are things that we can't do with this app with, with, you know, you're not actually touching sand or, you know, touching images, but, you know, selecting right. and touching the screen. What, what are your thoughts about that? What have you noticed over the years using it? Well, the thing that I have noticed with regards to I guess I want to say investment. So I've noticed over the years with both people who attend trainings that I've given and also clients that they become very emotionally invested and very connected to their tray in, in the similar way they do when they're creating a traditional one, which was something very powerful. I, I could have hoped for that ahead of time, but it was very powerful for me, powerful for me to actually see it and witness and hear people say that. So that's been fantastic. Um, I, I agree, there are pieces, there are things that we can do in the virtual that we can't do in the traditional and vice versa. Mm -hmm. And certainly one of them is having that, you know, you do this, I do the same thing, <laughs> that, that tactile experience. And, 
-hmm. And I would say that that's one of the reasons for having both, Mm -hmm. for sure. And also, I would say that my experience has been that I've had some clients who either don't want to touch the sand, and that's exactly why they won't do sand tray, or they are unable to. I had a client who was in a wheelchair. He couldn't access the tray in a way that made sense for him because of his motor abilities. So Mm -hmm. it it made me sad actually, because, well, then I guess we can't use sand tray. And Mm -hmm. yes, we can alter that a bit and and make things work for certain Mm -hmm. clients for sure. But having the virtual available has also given people who couldn't access it before Mm -hmm. now ways to do so. And like you said, the portability. You don't have to have mm-hmm. Wi-Fi to run it, so you can take it wherever you need to go. And the focus really has been accessibility. So to have people who would be unable to use it for whatever reason, to use the traditional, and in places where you wouldn't be able to have the traditional for whatever reason, mm-hmm. this gives us all another. And now, of course, is yes. And now, of course, it's the telehealth that's preventing us from having our actual collections perhaps uh, available, um, or at mm-hmm. least on their end. Uh, and so right. when giving us an option to work with images and play and to witness a play by play series um, through the screen now instead right. of uh, in person or uh, <laughs> in the office. So, so shall right. we play? Shall we play? Absolutely. Let's do it. Let me get everything shared for you so we can see it. Did you, mm-hmm. there it is. Oh no, we don't need an update. Okay. Mm-hmm. So what I've already done here is I've already logged in just because of time for, mm-hmm. for us to not have this video be too long for people. <laughs> I already logged in. I logged in as an administrator. So as an administrator, what that means is I can see everybody's trays. I can look at my, each one of my clients by client. I can check on their progress. I can compare trays. I can do all of these things. Clients also can have their own accounts within your app. So if I was with an actual client, we would sign into their login. They can only see their trays. So right now I'm in administrative mode. And I've already pre-populated a couple little items here, again, for the sake of time, mm-hmm. but I will show you how we did that. So uh, we were actually, I, I, about if I could, Jessica, me. well, if I could j- just jump in, imagine that I had a little basket and, and I went and picked these items. These actually are items that I asked Jessica for ahead of time. So imagine I pick them and put them here. So thank you. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So I want to explain a little bit that you see these two little circles, these blue circles, and for people, uh, those are touch indicators. And what that is telling you is where I'm touching since you can't see my fingers. And that's really helpful because otherwise everything's just moving and you don't know why. But those can be also turned off just for people to know. Okay, so what would you like me to do first? Well, maybe close to us if we could, um, I'd like to dig a little little, maybe a hole, but like a clearing near, near us, if that's possible. Oh, cool. <laughs> Is that where, what you meant? That's yeah, that's perfect. A, a little bit, a little bit more, oh, yeah, the oval and a little wider. Nice. And a smooth edge to it, a little bit more smooth. Nice. Okay. And now, um, and can there be, um, yeah, keep going. I want to get to the bottom of the tray. Yeah. Yeah, just like our blue bottom tray. So it goes down in layers and it's down three layers, just in case you don't want to go all the way down to the water on the first time. We have the option of having a depression instead. Yeah. So okay. wonderful. I have a nice water in front of me now. Maybe build some sand um, behind that little girl. Uh, maybe okay. like a little mountain or something. Yeah. Nice. Go up. Goes up in the layers. Just yes. So it goes keep down. Oh, that's nice. And a little higher in the middle. Nice. That's perfect. It's perfect. That look good. Okay. Yes. And um, yeah. So if she could move a little bit toward that uh, dragon on the right. Okay. This little girl here? Yes, yes. And does she have to be blonde? (laughs) No, she doesn't. We can absolutely change. 
Do you want to change her hairstyle too? Or? I'd like her to have darker hair. There she is. That's nice. I like that. Um, and can she um, kind of be near the treasure? Sure. Yeah. Do you want her like in front of it or is that good? Uh, maybe behind the treasure. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then maybe um, this dragon can turn a little so it looks like it's maybe her protector, the one on the right with the thorns. Yeah, he looks like he has like a little bit of a, he's a big monster. Let's, maybe he can be, oh, he looks scary there. <laughs> <laughs> maybe uh, he could be a little smaller. There he goes. Okay. And, um, yeah, that's nice. He's going to be her protector. We're going to pretend he's not a baddie. He's a protector. And this other okay. flying one, can it go on top of or maybe come to the foreground? Or maybe sure. on top of the mountain. Maybe we okay. can put we him up there. That. Yeah. So first I'll raise him up. And oh, then we'll wow. move him over. I love how he's already kind of moving his wings a bit. Yes. All right. Do you want him up on the tippy top part? Yeah, just kind of in the right there. Yeah. There we go. And maybe that other treasure can be behind the mountain. She doesn't know it's this there, one, maybe. maybe. Yeah. Okay. And do you want me to keep it the same size or do you want it bigger or? I like getting it bigger. It seems kind of tiny, huh? We'll make it a little bit bigger and then just hide it, though. That was stopped. That's okay. perfect. Well, that's okay. a good one. Maybe put it in the back corner. Like, like. Yeah, over here? right over there. Mm -hmm. okay. And then this angel, uh, maybe we can put her, um, can she face the girl? Can she turn and face her? Sure. And just a little bit bigger. There we go, perfect. And there we go, perfect. And um, yeah, and, um, yeah, it feels pretty good. Um, something's missing in the foreground. I don't know why I want to fish in the water. I don't want to go too far on this. I want to take too much time, but uh, some kind of life. I need life in this trade. You have trees or anything? <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I know. What would you like? So um, some uh, big trees, I think, just about four or five big okay. trees. And then I'll Here, promise. I'm going to give you a fish. Oh, thank you. I like okay. that blue one with the scales. Yeah, yeah, we'll put a bunch of fish in there for you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and then and then you would like some trees. Yes, please. It's looking just... kind of Oh, there you go. There. I like those right? uh, that tree I saw. Yeah. 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 Okay. Plants and trees. So, I got to have trees. Yeah. We have lots of different kinds. So yeah, there you go. The trees. one that says trees there. Yeah. And um, bamboo. I love bamboo. So bamboo and a couple of those other trees. So one, um, number three, number two, three, four, all of those. I think that's and perfect. And there's your bamboo. Oh, there we go. Yay. <laughs> so let's put you some bamboo in there. We'll put bamboo in front of that treasure chest in the back. And uh, so she has to really go okay. through the forest to get to it. Okay. And I'll stop there just for the purposes of our, <laughs> but I, I definitely could go on here. <laughs> right, I know, it's they're super fun to create. So here we go, so you can barely see that, that treasure Perfect. box now. Yeah, and then it so. seems like she has to like walk through the forest to get there and maybe um, talk to her guardian angel first and, um, Perfect. We'll stop there. Oh, wait, this okay. one tree has to be bigger. Just <laughs> the one in the this front one? left. Yes, please make that nice and big. So it's as big as the tree. Ah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Right. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks for playing. <laughs> Is there anything else that you'd like me to show you on here? Well, I don't know what other features exist. So I know, I do know that there's something about you can change the sand and you can also change the water into lava. People might want to see that. Okay, well, we can just do a little bit of that. Which one of these paints would you like on your tray? Let's try the hot lava, of course. <laughs> hot 
Lava. Okay. And where would you like me to place that for you? Ooh, let's put it on the edge, like on the, the lower left corner, all around that approaching this tree. Yeah. It's like, it's a flow that's coming in. Yeah. Perfect. We can tell that you're, front, you're in Hawaii. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and we yes. did, uh, we did the mobile sand uh, play in the disaster relief when the Kilauea erupted a couple years ago and it was quite an mm -hmm. ordeal. So this mm -hmm. is exciting to have this option as well. So yes, the lava sure. is coming and um, I think that's it. Okay. Sounds great. And, and just uh, so you know, I think you had mentioned burying things. So we oh. can easily bury things if we put things like we have the little fish that are in the water right now. All I would have to do is fill this in and oh. it would cover those fish up. But I, I don't want to cover your little fishies up. Well, thank you. How about we do a little bit so. of sand on the girl's uh, treasure chest to show us. We can, the one in front of the little girl. We can put this some sand right on, here? yeah, sand on there so it's not so visible to everyone else. She can, yeah, there we go. There so go. she she knows it's there. <laughs> right, but she has protected it. Yes, there we go. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> All right. And, and what we would do if that was clinical is we would have saved that and given it a name. And then if we wanted to work on it in our next session, we could go back to that or we could start a new one or whatever it is you chose to do. Well, thank you, Jessica. The other thing that really was special to me is that, you know, we have, we can be quite territorial sometimes in our approach to sand play versus sand tray. And that's a whole nother um, seminar that we could have a dialogue. But, um, you know, what I liked about this program is that however we approach processing with, with the person who's doing the tray is available to us, whether we want to be more non-directive and present, or if we want to uh, be more active and and directive, um, wherever the therapist's theoretical orientation is, they can bring that to this process. That, that doesn't change. Absolutely. So I and, thought that and was we worth commonly, it. We commonly get questions about that. So do you give directions on how it needs to be used? And, and hands down, the answer is no. It was absolutely created with the intention that however it is the therapist works with their clients, is what they bring to the session. This is the tool and you are the therapist and you are guiding how it's used based on your beliefs and your theoretical foundation and, and all of that, who you are and how you work and how you are in the room all comes with it. And it's so funny because my heart is like a, it, the, it's, it's beating just a little faster since I made that tray in an energized kind of way. And as you're talking, all I can think about is my tray. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> that's fascinating that there is um i'm I feeling it right it now <laughs> thank you <laughs> i'd appreciate that <laughs> um, Absolutely. yes and i can take some screenshots and i can send them to you well thank you thank you <laughs> you're so welcome I, <laughs> so i'm excited that you're working on a way for so i just got an experience of having the therapist do it through the screen you know as a means mm -hmm. of, of of working on that together um you shared how you're working on a uh, way of have, giving uh, the client a login in a remote location and, and working on trays that way where the therapist can see. Um, right. And what other uh, uh, things? I know we had talked earlier about some archetypal uh, images and expanding those. Absolutely. Tell us about that. So, so one of the really exciting things that came out of our conversation that we had a, a week ago, something to that effect, mm -hmm. is that I was thinking we have a, an expansion pack already. It's called Aut Play, and that is the program that's developed by Dr. Robert Jason Grant. And it's a mm -hmm. way of working with people with different uh, neuro atypical presentations, and and that's a, a fantastic program. But he mm -hmm. has developed a pack that is designed by him, has models in it by him, and some of the tenants that are important to his program in there. And I thought, how great would that be to design one together? And, mm -hmm. and even the people who are in your association can contribute mm -hmm. different thoughts mm -hmm. of what they think should be in there as well. Mm -hmm. and, and have a package that really includes the symbols that are important to how your 
organization works and how the practitioners within it mm -hmm. would like to have these items available. And I just think that's fantastic. It really got me very excited. Well, thanks. I noticed in this time of, um, you know, it's so un so much uncertainty that it, there's also this level of um, creativity and need to do something and, and be purposeful that comes up in, in that. And so it'd be fun to, to work on that. And I just really appreciate your time and your attention and, and the dialogues that we've been having about this. Um, and I just think this is an option that we've been getting so many questions about. So I'm so glad uh, you were generous with your time here. Here. And uh, if people have more questions, where can they go uh, with their questions? Well, they can certainly email me directly, Jessica Stone, PhD at gmail.com. So that's mm -hmm. probably the most direct way. We have a Facebook page and there's some videos posted on there. So if people want to check out Virtual Santray app on the Facebook page, mm -hmm. I, I am doing everything I can to be very available to people, answer questions. I understand there's lots of them and I would have them too. So that's why I'm, I'm working hard to be so available. Um, and, and I hope everything I've said today has made sense as it has been for all of us, very long days, right? I've been mm -hmm. in my office since 7.30 this morning and it's 5.40 now for my time. So uh, hopefully the brain was, was clear in what I said, but if anybody has any questions, just reach out. I'm, I'm really happy to answer them. And thanks again so much. This has been wonderful. And I just look forward to more conversations and uh, it's now more than ever. So yeah, thank you. Me too. Absolutely. <laughs> thank you. All right. Take care. Bye.